Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about the tropics. Of course, we have uh, three disturbances. One is over in the Atlantic Basin and two are over in the Pacific. So we'll be talking about them, but we really want to focus on that one over in the, the Atlantic Basin in the Caribbean. And so before I go into details... Okay, so we are starting off with the Pacific, of course. And so here we have our two disturbances. That one that you're seeing highlighted in red, that is designated as Invest 92E. And at the moment, it is given a 90% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. So it's likely that this will even achieve tropical depression status maybe by tomorrow, uh, providing that it has a close center of circulation and enough convection associated with it to be classified as a tropical cyclone. And things are expected to be favorable to enable some intensification of this system here, but it is likely to be paralleling the Pacific coast of Mexico and maybe bring in some showers, especially along coastal areas, but nothing very major is expected of this at the moment. So let's wait and see what's going to be happening. And so that other disturbance, uh, if you saw my, my update video yesterday, Today, you would have seen where there wasn't a low pressure system that has formed now it has formed because we have that x to show that area and so as you're seeing it is given a 30 percent chance to potentially develop into something during the next five days and so uh it is going to be behind that other system invest 92 e so with that developing it might kick up some shear and enable this thing here to not become something very significant but for the most part it is expected to move towards the the west or the west northwest during the next couple of days as it makes its way away from central america so we're going to wait and see what's going to be happening with that system here and so as for invest 92 e we're seeing uh, the model intensity guidance here and we're seeing that pretty much every single model expects at least a tropical storm from this and quite a bit are expecting that it will intensify into a category one hurricane and that is likely going to be happening offshore those hurricane force winds will likely be offshore and so uh, let's hope that this doesn't make any surprise moves and completely shock us all and for the track of it here we have the gfs ensembles and we're seeing that all of these members are expecting that it is going to be remaining offshore for the most part and making its way out into the pacific and right now on satellite this is what it is looking like it is pretty disorganized right now but of course it is in a conducive environment to enable some intensification of the system so it should be looking better as we head throughout the day and eventually throughout this week once conditions remain favorable and so that is really it for the Pacific. So just to recap that, we have two disturbances. One is given a high chance to develop, 90% chance at that. And both systems are likely to remain offshore, but maybe other bands could affect portions of uh, Mexico with some inclement weather conditions. All right, now let's go ahead and journey over into the Atlantic Basin. And so we are currently taking a look at infrared satellite of the Western Atlantic. And we're seeing that we have some convection that is noted uh, in portions of the Western Caribbean. There is a tropical wave that is propagating along that area right there. But regardless, we're expecting that a low pressure system is going to be forming in the South Caribbean by maybe the midweek of this week. So let's go ahead and see what the National Hurricane Center has to say about this. And so here we have this highlighted area. And now there is a 30% chance of potential development of this. And we're not seeing X. And as I said earlier, that low pressure area is expected to form by the midweek and so this particular track so much of what uh, the national hurricane center is expecting for the system here is what gfs was trending towards for a while about maybe about a week ago or so and i thought it was definitely too early to be uh expecting that something like this is going to develop because i remember at one point they were even expecting a major hurricane making landfall but now it seems as though we might have something develop and take that track but i doubt the intensity however i do think that this could become maybe a strong tropical storm or maybe even a weak hurricane but we have the dry air in the region that's helping to suppress activity and also we need that conducive wind shear to enable intensification of the system so once that low pressure system develops and if the environment ahead looks definitely friendly to enable some intensification of this then the chance is going to be increasing 
is going to be increasing even more. And it has increased since yesterday by only 10%. So let's wait and see what's going to be happening. But I would say if you're in portions of Central America, it's likely that you will be getting some heavy rainfall as a result of all the moisture within the region. So for now, Nicaragua, Honduras, uh, maybe even Costa Rica and Panama, maybe those areas might get some rainfall as well as the system is likely to be uh, developed within that area. And then making its way towards the north and northwest so guys if you're in portions of maybe belize and the yucatan i would say definitely keep an eye on this and you know me i will be giving you guys the necessary updates as time goes by but things can change during the next couple of days so we really have to wait and see what is going to be happening with this system here and so in terms of the surface chart here from now so let's go ahead and see what's going to be what they're expecting so this is by the 16th of june and so they are expecting that by that time we will have a low pressure system in the south caribbean and also tropical wave making its way by the area and so guys as i said we have to wait and see what's going to be happening but if you're in portions of central america it's likely that uh, you will be getting a lot of increased rainfall i mean that was highlighted on the climate prediction center's map and uh Please stay safe as best as possible because these heavy rainfall events likely could lead to flooding in flood prone areas. Okay, now let's see what our models are forecasting in terms of the intensity. So first up is of course the GFS model. So this is by Thursday on the 16th of June. And so there we have that low pressure system forming in the South Caribbean, a lot of moisture in the area. And then as we head to Saturday on the 18th of June, here we have a 988 millibar low pressure system there. So that looks to be uh, probably weak hurricane status or strong tropical storm headed towards the yucatan and then moving on to euro so euro is not really agreeing on this so this is by wednesday on june 15th and it is definitely showing a lot of increased moisture in the south caribbean but as for development no the model is not expecting that but things could change as time goes by so we'll wait and see if the model will hop on to a tropical system developing and making its way uh, over to the portions of the northwestern caribbean all right next we have the cmc model and this model here is somewhat a agreeing with what the gfs is expecting but it is showing something very weak so uh this is a 1008 millibar low pressure system here and it is not very organized according to this model here however cmc is expecting that this thing here is going to be crossing over into the gulf of mexico where some intensification could take place and it could make landfall in portions of mexico as a tropical storm all right next we have the icon model and icon is not really showing anything right now Either. So sort of the same thing what the uh, Euro model is expecting. Icon is not expecting something very major to be developing or pretty much a tropical cyclone to be developing. But we have to wait and see what is going to be happening as we head throughout this week. But of course, uh, as I said earlier, I will be keeping you updated. And so guys, that is really it for right now. That's what our models are showing. And uh, again, the National Hurricane Center has designated a 30% chance of this thing here developing into a tropical cyclone. So we have to wait and see what's going to be happening. And so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be otherwise.